$50 billion loss in market cap, in just a single day. And the big question is, what is going on with this company? Let's find out. As new competitors come, this sector is going to get a lot more competitive. It remains to be seen, if Netflix can match up against giants like Apple, Disney or Amazon. What people is unaware is, Netflix has an ace up their sleeves to win this war. Even though a 50 billion loss is very concerning, not everything is lost yet. Let's analyze, what is actually going on with this war. The war for attention, Netflix has always been characterized for creating great ideas, without losing sight of their main source of income. They demonstrated this in 2013, when they released the famous series House of Cards. This was the first original title produced by Netflix, until then, their business model was based on buying licenses of existing movies and series, to be available on their platform. But things have changed a lot since then, because Netflix is leaving behind third-party content to create their own original catalog, with series like Squid Games and it could be said that this has been the key to obtain over 220 million subscribers across the globe. The problem is that also has increased their competitors number and could be soon to lose their leadership. Let's do an exercise, think about it, have you been struggling to choose which platforms you are willing to pay? Apple TV, Disney Plus, Hulu, Prime Video, HBO Max and the list just goes on. Even though Netflix is the leading company, the reality is in danger because people's attention has been divided by the huge amount of alternatives, and in this war there are other rivals that are much tougher besides the streaming platforms. Netflix sees as a threat any other form of entertainment, including social networks, like Instagram and TikTok, listening to music on Spotify, playing Fortnite, read a book or even as they said the necessity of sleep, but of course the latter is a little over the top. All of them are competing for the same space. You may not know this, but the source of their problems is their main source of income, let's see why. Battling against giants. Netflix has gathered a lot of fans thanks to originals such as Black Mirror or Squid Game but this has not been cheap at all. The war of platforms has inflated the cost of hiring actors and directors, this means is getting more expensive and riskier to produce a new movie or series. So you have a better idea, Squid Game cost was $21 million, Fortunately, they got turned into millions of new subscribers, but is not always like this, and the costs don't stop increasing. This is a big problem, as Netflix is competing against giants like Amazon or Disney which are willing to lose billions of dollars thanks to other businesses that support them. Disney owns different chains of television, a movie studio, cruises and theme parks. When we talk about the Disney company we are not only talking about their streaming platform, but all of its shared universe behind it which boosts all of their businesses. When Frozen was released, not only it was a blockbuster, but also their songs were a hit, millions of digital downloads, physical movie sales, merchandise like toys and costumes as well as attractions in their parks. Let's be honest, Disney can afford to lose as much money as needed on Disney Plus, during a long time if they have subscribers who are paying, watching movies and intellectual property they already own. They have a whole infrastructure to monetize to capture value in many other places they can always lose money with Disney Plus, something that Netflix cannot afford. Amazon is the same thing, you have Amazon Prime where the business, if I am already subscribed to it, I am more willing to buy things on Amazon than other online stores as I am already paying for the subscription. It is a brilliant strategy, because you also have access to streaming not only movies and series but also music. This is why people may subscribe to streaming movies and then realize all the other advantages they get with their subscription, this is why they can lose money on their streaming service as they get people to buy more on Amazon. And the problem is, Netflix only relies on their streaming service and they are carrying a lot of debt for their production's costs. Their tough spot have made them bet on a bigger and more profitable business, video games, but what is their plan to conquer this industry? And is it enough to regain trust for their investors? Netflix knows the video game industry is bigger than movies and music together, and still has a lot of growth to be tapped. Is not by chance, that most tech companies are going all in for this industry. In 2018 Netflix experienced for the first time with combining a movie and video game with an interactive movie called Black Mirror Bandersnatch. In this movie, 
you can interact making decisions through the movie taking you to different endings, depending on your choices, a year later they released a few games for mobile devices with the third season of Stranger Things in Poland, which they later expanded to other countries as well. This is called as minimum viable product, only testing in small scale, without putting at risk the global market. Now Netflix is well known for the huge amount of data they can get by how their users interact with their platform, all the content they release is based on this data. This is one of the advantages they are going to use with their video games. They are going to take advantage of the huge hits they have had with their originals by converting them into video games. This is not only a great way to have their users in their platform, but also to keep getting data of their users, for example if players rarely choose a character of the game, they know is not that interesting for people, possibly it can appear less in the next installments of the series. The company is going all in with the video games, as they already started acquiring game development studios, such as Next Games for $72 million and who knows if they will soon get into the console business or cloud gaming as Google Stadia. For now, Netflix already has already game adaptations such as The Witcher, Dragon Quest and League of Legends. What is clear is that Netflix was a very innovative company that revolutionized the movie industry, but now has a great challenge because of the big competition they have in front of them. The only solutions they have is to create a great hit like Squid Game, which will not happen as often, or start offering new things like they are doing to offer shared universes like the ones Amazon and Disney are offering now. They have defended their position saying the decline has happened because of macroeconomic reasons like the Ukraine war, people sharing accounts, which was a key point of growth in the past, now it is a pain point as it stops the growth of subscriptions. Plus, the big movie production companies are realizing instead of giving away their movies, licensing is better business to create their own platforms, or partner with a few to have their own user base and even more for companies who can lose money for a long time and this is the great problem for Netflix and investors are aware of this. Netflix is not a 100% safe business now, it has become more of a gamble, as it is not certain if they can create the same universe as Disney, with theme parks of their blockbusters and merchandising, which they have been building for a very long time. It is possible to obtain all of this, but is not certain as it comes with a lot of risk, this is why is not a certain bet as it once was. They have great exclusive content but if they don't find a way to make it all work together like Disney, the future is not so certain for them. To summarize, Netflix is far from dead as they have done things right, they are creating intellectual property with their originals, which gives them control and value, but now is up to them to diversify this intellectual property, as good as Disney has done it all these years. The reason Disney is such a valuable company is because of how good they are at taking full advantage of their original intellectual property. We will see if Netflix can do the same. Thank you for watching the video. If you like it please hit the like button also don't forget to subscribe as more videos are coming.